Welcome to Small Aid. So, I have a puzzle for you guys I've been trying to solve for quite some time. And I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Any help will be highly appreciated. So, the goal is this. You take these three or four stainless steel tubes, 4 millimeter diameter, outside diameter, 0.2 millimeter wall thickness, and you want to machine them to the same length. A batch can be between 5 and 10, and you don't have to repeat between batches uh, the length. So one batch could be 35, the other could be 34.7, who cares? But within the batch, everyone has to be exactly the same length. That's a problem. So you could do them one by one. I've printed this uh, sort of call at stop. There's a hardened ball bearing inside there uh, as a hardened surface, uh, reference surface. And uh, results varied and it takes a lot of time. So there goes the batch idea. Uh, if I don't have any other choice, I just made this one uh, from stainless steel. It has a nice stop there as well. And I'll just um, machine them one by one with an indicator to see where I need to stop. But the real challenge is to make a set of them. So I 3D printed a, a mount. There are seven of these. Um, this mount holds seven and there's no real reason except for the webbing that have to be uh, not too thin. And the idea is you put them inside like so and they protrude a little bit out the back where you have a cavity. So inside the cavity, these protrude a little bit, and once they're all in, you just press them tight against a nicely machined reference surface and lock the screw. Now they can't move back anymore, and you can machine them. I've tried turning them, and results were horrific because these are really fine wall tubes, and they crush. And they twist and bend and whatnot. So then I went moved to machining, uh, well, by milling. And this is the setup. I made sure that the vise is moving along, basically along the line of the y-axis, indicated it in, and tried to machine these using a six millimeter end mill. Well, uh, results were meh. Uh, <laughs> Three of them were in spec, 0.05 millimeters plus minus, that was wonderful. The rest were horrific, like 0.7 to 0.3 millimeters. So what do you think? Can this be done? And if so, what am I doing wrong? I can say that probably I should have made this from steel, not, uh, not brass. Okay, fine. Um, the 3D printer is doing a pretty good job making the holes, I'll say, run along concentrically. So I'm not worrying about that. And uh, uh, the vise is exactly 90 degree to the x-axis of the lathe uh, mill in this case. So <laughs> what do you think can be causing this? Uh, I'd love to hear your concepts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a sweet day.